Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's admire, admire a water wheel together. together. Yeah. So, since the last time we played this, because we do do these in bunches sometimes. Yes. Um, most of the time, because, you know, uh -huh. it's efficient, etc. But also it's fun to just keep playing. <laughs> uh -huh. I was going to say, they've been staring at this water wheel this whole time, just basically going... Wow, for like two days. Right? What a water wheel. This wheel, I always have a wheel of a good time, the you know? wheel of a good time. Ah. So, so yeah, basically, sometimes I like to think in the meta of, well, if they just have to sit there while we're not playing the game, man, do they sit there. I go, <laughs> ha, and you go, ha, yes. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, so here we go. Let's see what we've got with uh, Starta. Whole, whole new day. day. With rewards. All right, so no, if you're actually playing the game rather than playing the story mm. or just watching it, do remember that as you get through your three different landmarks of the day, it's going to give you bonuses. So don't start your new day if you've only got five more minutes to play, and it might give you free lives. Yeah, you might be a little <laughs> bit sad. Sad. Outstanding work, Miss Roberts. 5.5 out of six stars. Yeah, I have no idea still what this entire system means, so... It's very arbitrary, and it thing. bounces around with him, so it's fine. And he really just isn't communicating to us what's actually going on at all. Yeah, pretty much. So, why didn't I get the last half a star? I got splinters in my buttocks. That is your fault, sir. <laughs> Honestly, that was really unexpected, a little bit funny, and also <laughs> exasperating, because here we go again! Because for no reason at all. Also, we chose the nicer benches, so you shouldn't have, Did sir. you change them and then didn't change them back, though? You might have oh. given him splinters in his butt from changing them around too much. <laughs> Thank you! From changing them while he was sitting on uh -huh. them? Uh-huh! <laughs> okay, I can see that. Someone swapping them out from underneath you. And you're like, be ow! A ow! Ow! <laughs> Okay. My butt! My butt! <laughs> my butt! <laughs> He's really sad about his butt. I'm sorry. I'm just... We're super in on that cat oh. right now. It makes me laugh. Okay. We have developed, like, three inside jokes to do with that cat uh, TikTok. It's oh, so bad. It's so good. It's not a fine. I, I know. I know. I want to call everything... I miss fine. I do. But too. I am so glad that TikTok has come to fill the void and that everyone on TikTok has done such powerful work because... Powerful art! They have done so much good work in reference to trying to share things and support people and encourage each other and get in the way of harmful processes that Trump is like, TikTok can no longer exist in America. And that is a profound thing. Honestly? Honestly, that is super badass. Honestly, so yeah, yeah. props. And and all that. Uh, oh, uh, the fireplace seating. Yeah, I'll just give it another round of sandpaper. Uh -huh. Later, Liz. Not right now. First, we gotta sandpaper his butt. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Fix It All, what are your plans for tonight? Because I'm um, thirsty. I mean, and I'm what? still a jerk to men. It's fine. Yep, and to you especially. I, you did do it. I, I'm gonna go look for dog. I mean, Roxy. Why I'm like, have you we really finally have... mentioned dog. If he thinks of his own dog as, as its dog? name, why wouldn't Karen? What is going on? I need to know. I, I just want too. Karen to be a more skillfully written child. Point, dear Santa Claus, to this year, Lies would wish to have all children to not be written like but. Yes, that was a reference. But, just for you. <laughs> Love, lies, little heart. <laughs> We've yes. already started on our wish list. Beyond needing rent and food and mortgage and everything else, this is the big, the big important thing I like at the top to of the list. Endow all writers with the sensitivity, awareness, and skill to write excellent children. Or if they're going to write them badly, at least write them badly in a way on that purpose. makes sense. Yeah, or on, on purpose, not an accident. Through negligence or inattentiveness or I don't care or I'm just unaware. Just purposefully and with, with skill. I know. Well, and that's the big thing that I think is really funny sometimes of being like, yes, you don't have to write children all as perfect, but when your literal representation of children in media seems to be... <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like... Blah, 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 blah. It's just like, I don't... I'm a grown-ass adult and I can go... Blah, 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 okay? I don't need more kids to go... Blah, 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 that 
that aren't even made up. Okay. okay. Well, that so, aren't even real. That aren't even, even real. Yeah. Real kids can say whatever they want. Hashtag 2020. It's time. It's time for real children to say what they want to say. <laughs> say what you want to say. All right. So, um... I wonder if she's going to be hurt by this experience of just randomly renaming his dog as a total stranger on the first day she met him. I don't know. I Let's highly doubt out. they'll ever address it in any way. Yeah, I have a feeling her new friends might be a bad influence on her. I'll help you look. Him, We're... though, saying his own animal's name, his child's animal's name, and then her not reacting to him, then correcting to her preferred, you know, label for Roxy, like, there's... There's a commentary I am here dog. that I feel like is being ignored. Maybe Dog has actually run away. It's been a really sad, depressing story in the background. Dog has been trying desperately the whole time to get everyone's attention, being like, please, I am Dog, and no one has been listening. But finally, the raccoons came along and are like, Dog? And they're like, Dog! And Roxy's, and like, Roxy's like, yes, dog. I have been validated with my identity, and I ran away because none of you bastards love me. You, you won't, won't use my preferred name! You also don't greet me. You don't say goodbye to me. You barely acknowledge I'm there unless it's part of the plot. Um, One time my child has petted me. Once. Once. Actually, I think it's been twice now. It's probably been But twice it's still now. pretty bad. Honestly, but, the child of that age going... I don't love my dog, and especially, like, like that's fine. Okay, so one thing that I've noticed sometimes is that people, like, that frustrates me, <laughs> is assuming that all children love all their animals no matter what. Like, yeah. most adults also don't love their animals or say hello to their animals or greet At their animals times. or spend hours with their animals kind of thing when you did sometimes when they were a puppy. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they were a puppy and they were cute and they were soft and they and were they cuddly. And they needed that attention. Uh-huh. And now, now they're an adult, they can suck it up. Which is actually kind of indicative of how people treat each other anyway. But um, the thing that yeah. I've also seen, though, is expecting, though, that kids are basically going to be super involved with pets. And it's like, it's not true. They're just like you. Of course they have other things. That... What are you doing? I had that in a very specific place. <laughs> okay, and thank okay, you. Leave it alone. So, I don't... involved. <clears throat> so, yeah, there actually, um, there are a lot of kids that aren't super involved with their pets. And oh, I yeah. will admit that as a child, I was not trained to be a skillful pet owner, and so I did not take very good care of many of the pets that I was, um, you know, uh, gifted with as a child. Now, I don't think I was a horrible pet owner in some cases. On the other hand, if you don't teach a child how to take care of a pet, if you don't teach an adult how to take care of a pet, they don't intrinsically know. None of us intrinsically know how to take <coughs> care of an animal. It doesn't come with, you know, the... Um, I was going to say, with the amniotic fluid, you know, right. it's just not, it's not there. I'll it's not, not an ingrained thing. No, but in nothing. Fact, the reason, like, as far as we can really tell, there's a lot of behaviors that, like, or pretty much most behaviors that really aren't ingrained. Say, most knowledge and awareness, actually, if not all knowledge and awareness, is learned. Yes. All right. Uh, I'll help you look. Mm. Mm, is she going to react to the dog thing? Oh, no. She's she feels moaning guilty. about Blaine. I I hope you land on your feet. I okay. yeah. You also don't know if any of his story was true at all. Like it may have been, but you also don't know that. Uh, the, one of those fun things about being completely gaslit, serially abused, and whatever else, and lied to all the time mm -hmm. is that it's very difficult to tell when the truth is coming around, or like you've been hurt a lot. Guess what? So I'm not going to judge her for being frustrated and no. sad about this because, like, there is every reason for her to still feel attached to that man, even though I am frustrated by it at all. Like, the thing is, is, like, there is a reason she stayed engaged to him unhappily for several years. Yeah. Like, I don't imagine she was un un unhappy the entire time. On mm -hmm. the other hand, sometimes that happens, too, because sometimes when a relationship isn't going well, someone will propose to bring light back into the relationship to start it moving again. God, you've been involved, though, for five years of, like, we're going to get engaged five years ago, and it just never went anywhere and it was like that was a fixer like they were trying to fix their relationship and they could just never make time to do the other step because they didn't actually want to i'd say or yeah he just couldn't prioritize it and honestly i don't think she wanted either because she knew it would be the same yeah after marriage and yeah so anyway i feel you lily it i'm also just like but why does marriage have to be so different oh with we're gonna see blaine on the unloaded road Walking in the mists of the unloaded zone. <laughs> there oh, sorry, he is. I... Aha! I landed straight in my butt. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Bob's <laughs> Hall butt references God in one episode. How does it get any better than that? Both canon. Yeah. Uh, I can't go out like this, Lily Bear. Okay, why are we having them having a weird psychic moment of talking about each other at an identical time uh, at great distances? Because we're going to redeem Blaine. Uh, like, I have been antsy and uncomfortable and... Okay, uh, writers, you don't need Blaine. You can make new characters. You, re- <laughs> like... you also can literally just focus on a few characters. So as some people like pointing out, sometimes your stories are more shit the more characters you have. Okay. And actually, sometimes the best stories you have maybe basically have about three to five characters more mm. than just like, here's eight to ten. You know, and especially depending on what your themes are, what you're going for, like you don't need an enormous cast of characters. Game of Thrones has lied to you. Uh, I was say the Wheel of Time has lied to you. Oh, <laughs> Wheel of Time series has lied to you. The thing is, is you can have a large cast of characters, but you your characters they shouldn't be precious, if you will. Um, one of the greatest ways to write and and have it be easier to write is make it so you don't have to tell everyone's story. Have a lot of people in there if you want to, like background characters or secondary characters, like you know where you have the lead character or the lead actor and then you have a supporting actor. Supporting character can add a huge amount of flavor and fun and world building and interest and like intrigue. But you don't have to tell all of their stories. Nope. And you also don't have to keep all of them. Even if you find a cool-ass character that you are totally in love with and you see a massive, amazing arc for them, if you run into that while writing a different story, don't try and shoehorn it in there. If it fits <coughs> really naturally with the other one and doesn't take away from your main story, sure, go ahead and have it as this thing that happens punchily in the background right. and is kind of cool. I've seen that done occasionally where you see a character show up four different times over the whole book and each time they've clearly made a character step uh, right. because of other narratives around them. But, like, there's no need to keep blame. Right. This no. story does not require him. And as far as I've seen, he's added nothing but anxiety and stress and discomfort to it. And not even any real comedy relief. He's nope. just been obnoxious to our protagonist. And well, again, he can have a better life and he can be redeemed. There's no reason that has to happen with Lily or involving Lily or even around Lily at all. You do not have to help your exes and they don't have to stay as part of your life. It can happen, but it is not required and most often as far as i've ever seen it doesn't happen because people tend to when they really break apart finally especially in the united states once you finally get to that point holy crap some people really break hard and they break like forever you're done there is a lot of basically um exes can't be friends culture in here because people drag their relationship on so long and so hard that by the time they get to the end of it they they have nothing but pain yeah. And and this is certainly not a gold standard. There are people that are friends with their exes. But again, like for me, the biggest thing here is you don't have to help your ex. You don't have to pay into something that doesn't pay back to you. And you don't have to help people just because they need help. Right. It's like if you had to help people just because they need help, all of us would be a hugely different society. If the primary obligation was to help people because they need help, we would all be helping each other everywhere. And you would have essentially a post poverty society yeah which would be really nice but also except we don't really know that and the other thing is though too at least for me is going like if you had everybody actually like helping each other you would have potentially a different idea of basically some people possibly being much more aggravated or stressed out because guess what they can't say no you have to help everyone you know kind of thing instead of going hey there are resources there's other places you can go which is a form of help though telling someone where to get resources and helping them get those is also help but i'm saying like anybody you're saying literally anybody you can go get help from that's what i'm trying to combat is going like not just anybody because sometimes you go the person who might need help you can't always get that from the person that you hurt. Right. Because, and also you shouldn't be looking for that because sometimes they need other help that you're going to get in the way of. Okay, so you're you're picturing the society as if it, poof, suddenly happens. Uh Uh-huh. If it had always been that everybody helps everybody, then that help would look like very different things because it had always been that way. It's not suddenly anyone with all their problems can come to anyone. Additionally, if someone comes to you completely out of context and goes, I need help, 
you're not obligated to help them except for to in a certain way. Yes. Even if your society is, you're obligated to help them. You're not obligated to help them in a certain way. The way you help them can be taking them to a very available, very functioning service that helps them. Okay, well, of course I was thinking of instantaneously, because it sounded like you were sort of going, this is the kind of society we would live in. And I'm like, that, well, we live in this one, so we change society suddenly? Well, that's but what I mean. mean. That's a... is if everyone <clears throat> had always had to help each other, and mm. that was part of our culture, our culture would be extremely different. Our culture would be very different. All right. Um, I was also going to say real fast for everybody. Sure. Uh, Context-wise, just just a disclaimer. I've never read Game of Thrones. I only got up uh. to season four of uh, the series, which okay. A Song of Ice and Fire, so I've never read A Song of Ice and Fire. I have watched a Game of Thrones up to about season four, um, and then after? I dropped off. Well, because we were talking about what we actually saw, and like for these, these stories have lied to you. Okay. So I was just explaining where I have come from, and <laughs> then I actually got through Robert Jordan's Wheel of time up to i believe either book six or book eight i can't remember because i had to reread them so many times because i kept fucking forgetting them <laughs> because they were so long okay and they were so boring <laughs> sorry i'm fine <laughs> anyway <clears throat> it's up. i'm gonna go do something i should have done a long time ago which is oh, not why. go back to lily i gotta uh, apologize i'm gonna do something uh, new Something nice for somebody other than myself. Okay, just not Lily, okay? I guess. Just not Lily, okay? No! No! Uh, oh, no. Please, dear God, no. Please, don't do it! Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, my God! Please, don't! So, my friend is very, very afraid they're going to ship Rachel and Blaine together. You know, because they need to fix their relationship, and I'm like, well, you're because... ending up in the same fucking... Because, you know, uh! everybody has to pair off, because that's how, you know, the heteronormative narrative works. And I'm not saying that people don't narrative. pair off. My biggest problem in this situation is going, you have somebody who is an abuser who needs to go get help, not... Start off going, let's go talk to this very high-powered woman who just got out of basically her own, you know, crappy relationship that we don't even know the extent of. I'm just, I don't, I don't want it. Again. I can't. You don't have to keep the same characters. If you want to pair everyone off, you can bring in new characters to pair them off with. Uh-huh. I, why yeah. did you make Blaine such an awful person if you wanted to redeem him? And if you wanted to do that, why did you make because this Lily story? Because we're going to make story? it a long, involved process that's going to go beyond again, the 30 days. Why did you make this Lily's story uh -huh. if you wanted to do tell an, Blaine's story? an elaborate experience with Blaine? No kidding. Starting with this! I didn't Shit. actually read it. Thank Sorry. you. Sorry! All right, first I'm going to go donate my art to that children's hospital. That's the one. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. His Blaine, nails need please. some love. Whoa. Charity work! That is literally not charity work. That is a charity action. action. Like yeah. like that a donation and like like um uh volunteering <sighs> are different. Hold I really on. don't fucking want it that Alright, right, we're back twenty-three. Bye, Blaine, into the night you go. Wow, I feel so much better today. Blaine's gone. I'm not being my own worst enemy with Luke anymore. Except that you Ish. kind of still are. I'm Except... seeing Luke's enemy. Oh, I even have the land record. So I know how much of the estate is left to work on this week. Have you looked at the land record? I, I mean, so... we did, remember? We did. No, we no. looked at it on screen. No, that's what I mean. Genuinely in your own mind, gone and understood what oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Not okay. just, I have seen the paper, but, you know, instilled yourself with comprehension. Fair, fair. I, Let's see. I think I'll hit up that area south of the butterfly garden. I sure. Okay. Are we gonna? <clears throat> and you just put it in your pocket. No, like, you gotta take it with you. An old ass land record might not be the best thing to just shove in your pocket all the time. Hmm. It should be right here. Uh, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, there's the door. It's all overgrown just with a roses. Secret garden. So here's a question. <laughs> Did you guys ever find dog yesterday? Because oh. they went to Blaine and then just stopped. <laughs> uh, I went, oh, it's not necessary. And she doesn't to do mention thing. that we found dog, didn't find dog, met the raccoons. I'll have to fix the gate before I can get in there unless I want to climb over all those these rose bushes. I, I no, you could just remove the gate to get in there. You could do that. I'm guessing. 
No, uh, you could remove the gate. It'd be fine. Sure. Sure. So let's go ahead and replace the gate, we okay. guess. Sure, why not? I gotta cut all these roses. Maybe I'll make a nice bouquet. I... okay. Usually roses that haven't been tended to at all don't grow really nice blossoms, but maybe. Er, Luke, maybe. I... all okay. right. Cool. <laughs> Except that we still haven't addressed the fact how much you hate him sometimes. Snip, snip. Okay, snip, snip, snip. So many roses. Does Sleeping Beauty live here or something? Or is I, it just the rose garden? Uh, I just... Is it a rose garden? <clears throat> Lots of snipping later. Uh -huh. Hi, snipping at yourself or someone else? Oh, uh, uh, Wait, are we getting into simping? No. I, oh, God, no Sim snipping. I don't know, simping for yourself. Honestly, oh, you God. should simp for yourself. Uh, That's going to be actually a term. I'm not even so tired of it, and it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not even familiar with what that meme means exactly, other than you're sympathetic to, you're simpering, yeah. you're meh. Yeah. Anyway. There. I should just replace this gate if I'm gonna go gonna be going in and out. Or you could take it off again, like it just it could be a thing. Oh, that's kinda fun. I've seen those before. They're that's very ridiculous, cute. They keep but sort of fun. Uh -huh. Dog can walk right through it. Let's I was gonna do say, it. dog will be great. Dog will have uh -huh. a great time. That looks nice. Can we see yet? <sighs> we oh. can see. Jeez, it's just thorns. It's the rose thorns. garden. Thorns. Thorns in here. It's got to be a rose garden. This is a really weird, tiny shaped piece of land. Suddenly. Uh huh. Kind of have to clear so much of this just to be able to walk through. Yes. Yep. I'm also gonna have to rebuild that bit in the middle, I imagine. So. Uh, uh in the next, next time, one. Yeah, uh, we're totally gonna clear a path. So thank you very much, guys, then for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. We got some links in the description down below. Woo! Um. Also, if you'd like to support us and help save us from the algorithm, sharing our videos would be very much appreciated. Yes. And other than that, I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And it, it was, was great, great playing with you. you. Bye. Bye.